Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFB TV, and today's run and gun is going to be with a Springfield Model 1892 Krag Jorgensen rifle. The Krag Jorgensen is chambered in 3040 Krag, a rimmed 30 caliber cartridge, and this rifle marked the United States Army's entry into the bolt action smokeless powder world as far as general issue was concerned. This example was made in 1894 and is quite a nice example actually. The bore is very brilliant, and any failures are going to be as a result of me rather than the gun. I Really can't blame the gun on uh, anything that happens in this running gun, but one unique feature you'll notice right now is the strange loading gate on the side with a protrusion on top that allows you to open and load the gun. Um, aside from that, the rear sight's a little odd in that it has a flip-up aperture for precision long-distance shooting, but let's take another look at that loading gate. To load the crag, you open up the gate, and then you single load the rimmed 30-40 cartridges, one at a time, which is very difficult actually, and that's uh, where a lot of this criticism came from on this rifle. In the Spanish-American War, a lot of people blamed this on uh, the failure at San Juan Hill. If you look at a Mauser, I can load it in about half a second, whereas single loading rounds is hard. Um, also, the Krag only features one locking lug at the front of the receiver, however this does make for an extremely smooth action. So. Let's go to the running gun course. It's going to be 20 shots on steel, 5 on paper, with 4 reloads. Alright, so now we find out if the loading gate of the Craig Jorgensen is really that great of a hindrance versus stripper clips. Here we go. All right, let's go to our range and check that out. All right, guys, so you saw me fumbling around with the loading gate quite a lot. That's actually pretty hard to do, and putting in the rim so that you don't get rim lock is hard. I did also have a couple issues feeding because I'm using pointed soft point or lead soft point instead of FMJ. But I don't think I did that bad. It was actually very accurate. I think I hit most of the shots I took on the steel. You can see it's pretty beat up here. I want to say I got 17 or 18 out of 20. I'll count the pings and then relay them in the end of the video. But I took the last five on a paper silhouette. And uh, four out of the five hits were center mass. I don't know what happened on the last stage. I took all five shots in a row. I guess I just uh, straight up bungled one and pulled it over to the left pretty hard when I was coming down into the crouch position. But I'll put the totals hits versus misses out of 25. All in all, I really enjoyed this running gun. It's a little different. It's kind of fun to run something that's not just either a magazine or stripper clip fed gun. So the Krag's loading gate definitely made this one of the tougher run-in guns I've done, but also one of the more interesting. Um, using the loading gate was tricky, and I'm not even sure with training I could get it down that well. It's really just a clumsy system. Watch me here with the stripper clip in a Moss 36. Now you can see that was remarkably faster. That being said, the Krag was very smooth to run. Still, I mean, the Americans were definitely outclassed by these Spanish Mausers in the Spanish-American War. 
And uh, let's just say I'm very glad that we went to the Springfield 1903, which is a much better gun than the old Krag. That being said, the Krag would be and is a great shooting rifle, great target rifle. I'm just not sure that I'd take one into battle over <laughs> what I would consider a better bolt action, such as a Mauser or Moss 36 or something. But like I said, this was fun. I was actually very, very pleased with my score, and I hope you enjoyed this running gun. This was fun, different, and I hope you enjoyed watching me run around and make a fool out of myself with this old rifle. <laughs> Anyways, this is Alex C. with TFP TV. Big thanks to Grizzly Target and Vitara Munitions. Hope to see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.